prolific takedown artist in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, his boxing has been on point throughout his UFC career, and gotta figure there's gonna be plenty more where that came from here in this matchup. You know, this guy is such a great boxer, John, that if he decided to chase down the Olympic gold medal, you would think that he would have that opportunity. His ability to go out there and set traps, his footwork, his movement is next level. It is not something we have seen before. I would have expected to see this man in Beijing, Athens, somewhere trying to represent the country, but instead, he does his work inside the UFC's octagon, and he is special, and he is so fun for him. Petty praise from a two-time United States Olympian, Daniel Cormier. First order of business, though, tonight, winning this mixed martial arts contest. All right, with that, the wait for live action ends here. Both fighters have graced the octagon, and we are ready and raring to go. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, United Center, Chicago, Illinois, seemingly an annual destination for the combat sports leader, and great to have a UFC fight night back here in the Midwest tonight. You know, I love coming to Chicago. I love coming to this arena because the fans are so knowledgeable. This city welcomes the UFC with open arms every single time, and tonight we come with a banger of a fight card. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Nice jab by Choi. And that one certainly found the target. Just missed with that right hand. Able to block the punch there. That leg kick lands. Nice straight punch. So nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well to move. Oh, and he tags it with the straight, beautifully placed there by Chor. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, he most certainly did. What a wild start to this fight, unless, of course, you like defense. What a great fight so far. These guys are laying it all out on the line. Big right hand there. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. And again, he lands another punch, DC. He's certainly got the hands going tonight. He is a phenomenal boxer. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Oh, another brutal jab. If you like boxing and you appreciate the sweet science, his jab is as good as it gets. Yeah, he's the best pure boxer in MMA. He's one of those guys that if he needed to go into a boxing arena, he could still be competitive. It all starts behind that beautiful jab. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by the Korean Super Bowl. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Oh, 
Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Just over two minutes now to go. Landed that one. Korean Super Bowl. Whiffs on the right hand. Rips the body there. Nice jab. Oh, nice left hand there. Big punch land. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Let's go, you can do this. Keep going forward. Nice land with that punch, clearly taking advantage of his big edge and reach. Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg. And now leather being thrown on both sides. Jab snaps the head back. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. 30 seconds to go. Pretty good straight punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That could affect the judging. He passed the half guard. Making all these shots count. Final seconds here of round one. Oh. One out for the end of round one. and we're going to take this fight in a different direction. I want you to start with... All right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. Rips the body there. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Blocks the shot. like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. And misses with the right hand. Defense. Beautiful jab land. Choi's got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. You got to think that body investment is going to pay dividends later. Oh, collar tie. Swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. 
And under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Good job defensively to block that punch. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. Whoa! Uh, huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, big left. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, you gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, and I would say to avoid those shots. Lands a nice leg kick. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. You got on four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems to bother by it. But clearly, both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the day. to the round he got knocked down just before the final horn you can classify that as saved by the bell you're fine right now you got clipped you were wobbled but you're tough we've trained for this before all right let's check out some of the action dc and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round he does not waste anything he does not loop punches everything's tight everything's precise he's a sniper we always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round on the way. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Right on the button. Man, he has been masterful on the feet this evening, and really his weapon of choice has been that jab. He has had it in his opponent's face all night long. Oh, the hook lands. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Let him go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Protect your face. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder. Solid punch by him there. Oh, 
swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's going to impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here. Block that kick to the body. Just over three minutes to go. Big shot to the head. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. And the kick lands. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Got his guard pass. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, he got to the spot. Back to his feet. Good sign for him there. About two minutes here to go in round three. Oh, you got to like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course. But you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. That's good defense to get that guard up. Nice jab. Oh, big head kick. Nice crack there. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Nice, good pressure. Lands with the knee to the body. Well, punches and bunches for the longer fighter. He landed another strike there. Thirty seconds to go in this one. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. All right, so the cut is getting out of control. The corner doesn't seem to be in any great rush to throw in the towel, but you got to think we're going to get some referee involvement here soon. When we get to the stool, if we get to the stool, they're going to look at that cut and they're going to stop this fight. Because not anyone with a brain can look at that and know that this guy should not be in the fight anymore. Well, that's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path, in order to make the cut worse. Ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, next round is underway, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me, DC. Maybe, maybe they're doing their sport work in the training camp or something. I mean, these guys are known for working very, very hard. Both of them make cardio a very key factor in their preparation, and it's showing on both sides of the outcome. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. 
Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they've both shown heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. Another right hand landed. Oh, man. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Just over three minutes now to go. Nice block there. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Solid punch lands for him. to the left hand now, unable to connect. Huge block there. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that will land the right on the spot. All right, the ball. Could be over soon. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body. He hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Well, he's got his back now. And very effective with the ground and pound. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Now Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 49 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Do Ho Chong.